Hello everyone, I hope you are all well. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Anastasia. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment what recipes you want to see next. So today I am making meatless pasties. So Cornish pasties, I've had so many of them but never made them in my life. So this is going to be a simpler version. Bear with me, I am assuming it's going to be easier for everyone else out there as well. Um, and what I mean by simpler version is that I am going to be using pre-made um, short crust pastry. You know the just roll one, I'll show you now. Um, if you love making your own pastries, go ahead and knock your socks off. I actually am not very good at doing that, so I'm going to skip on that part. And also, I am in need of going to the grocery store, but I haven't. So for my vegetables today, I am just going to be using some defrosted frozen vegetables. Don't judge me. <laughs> and actually, I also found a frozen in the fridge, so I'm going to be using that as well. Um, yeah, I just didn't have anything else in the fridge, and I thought I'd improvise a little bit. And of course we are going to be using potatoes. Now these are actually all the potatoes that I have left, so I just cut them all up into these tiny little bite-sized cubes. So I'm really hoping that I get to use all of them because otherwise that works. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm actually not typically, I'm not vegetarian myself, but I do like to have two meals a week, two dinners a week, that are strictly vegetarian, whether it's soup or meatless pasties or like a vegetarian chili with rice or something. Um, I think it's really important not only for the environment but actually also for our bodies because if you have too much of anything, it can make you sick. I mean, red meat, uh, oily fish, anything really. Um, so it's a good rest for our, our digestive system because meat takes the longest to digest. Um, vegetables typically take about 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Oh, okay. Now it says cut into four pieces, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna cut it into four pieces and roll each one out into as best of a circle as I possibly can. So I'm gonna roll it into a circle first, just so it can go out into a circle as well, because it was in a square before. Now. So I am just going to peel my parsnip here. Now I do normally peel with a knife, but this can come in handy sometimes. It's just a little easier. And don't throw these little skins away. If you pop them into the oven and make some parsnip chips, they would be so gorgeous. Honestly, with just a little bit of sea salt. I really try to minimize the amount of uh, food waste that I use. Okay, disclaimer, this is not going to be your traditional pasty, not only because it is vegetarian, but also with the seasonings that I'm going to put into it. Um, I feel like vegetables need a little help sometimes. So I have just mixed in all of my chopped up potatoes, my thawed frozen veg, and the cut up parsnips as well. So what I am going to do is of course salt so I'm just gonna give this a really really good pinch of salt or two pinches rather some black pepper and sprinkle that all over as well 
the more sensitive color of the ring. Well, to a degree. I'm also going to use some mixed herbs. Get that in there. Uh, I'm going to use some garlic as well. Uh, just because I actually kind of bother to chop some up. So <laughs> yeah, garlic granules it is. Uh, I'm going to use some smoked paprika because it gives it a smoky flavor, an almost meaty flavor, and also a nice color as well. And just a tiny touch of cayenne pepper, just to give it a tiny bit of heat, um, and just to kind of avoid it being bland as well. So just a little bit of that. And that went everywhere I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Uh, let's give this all a mix first and that may look like a lot of seasoning but we've actually got four different pasties here so I might have not even put in enough salt. No, I think it should be fine. It's already getting a nice color. And you're supposed to cook this with a couple, with a couple dollops of butter in it. And what I'm also going to do, is, which is probably not traditional, is I'm going to squeeze in a little bit of tomato puree into it. Now I know this might seem a bit weird, but I feel like when you've got meat pasties, you've got the juices from the meat um, to kind of flavor it and almost give it a sauce, whereas with vegetables, you're going to get water. So if we put in a little bit of butter and tomato puree, it might just uh, save the day. So I just want to give this all a big mix. As long as it doesn't break at the bottom, I don't know. So that is my sub bar looking Cornish pasty. Um, I will put less filling into the following ones. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just beat an egg for the egg wash on top. Now, always crack it on the surface because if you do it on the edge and shell gets in, well, you're just gonna cause yourself a little bit of a problem. Okay, so here is what all of the pasties look like. This one is definitely the best one because it's the biggest and the one with no holes. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give them all a nice egg wash so they can be nice and golden brown. Now I'm going to pop them all into the oven until they're golden brown, I assume. See you in a minute. I just made my parsnip chips and you should hear this crunch. They're so good. Zero waste and delicious. Okay, so it's been about 35 minutes in the oven and I'm showing you the two that look the nicest. And you can definitely tell that it's cooked all the way through. It's all crunchy and crispy on the top. I'm just gonna let them cool down a little bit before I cut them open and show you what lies on the inside. But they actually, I'm pretty happy with them. They look pretty good. Okay, I've cut it open. Oh, would you look at that? Yes, that looks awesome! Because we packed it in there so tightly. That looks so good. Yes. Very happy with that, actually. That looks so good. I cannot wait to dive right into that. This is the filling of the other one. And these are what the other ones look like as well. Now I'm gonna have a little taste test and let you know what I think. That was honestly so delicious. You have to try it. I mean, carbs on carbs, what's not to love? But the fact that it's carbs on carbs means that I am super full after eating just half of one. Um, so yeah, and it is quite high in fat anyway, so this is not a healthy video. 
but I am about to go do a workout with my new resistance bands that came today. I mean, lockdown 2.0 here in the UK. So yeah, gyms are closed, so need to work out somehow. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you try it out. Um, I probably would have preferred it with some meat in there as well. Um, so if you do that, let me know how it tastes, what seasonings you used, and so on. And I hope you all stay safe, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.